We are now going to learn how to uh, make uh, put closures into our own functions, and we know how to use closures. You know, they're they're really easy on the outside of functions. You don't even have to uh, you don't have to declare types most of the time. You can say you know let's uh, we have some number here, and we'll say let my closure equals you know we don't care, and we'll just say uh, let's debug it debug uh, x, and that is the end of our closure. And we don't have to say this is an i32 or you know anything like that. We don't care. And then uh, we can just say my closure, and uh, that's it. You know we don't we don't even put anything in here because you know we're not declaring anything here, uh, saying you know some uh, some type is going in, and uh, it works perfectly. So that is uh, you know, that's super easy. But um, when you get into your own functions, it's um, you have to choose what kind of uh, closure it is, and we saw these uh, these before. You know, fn once, fn mute, and fn, and uh, you choose one of them, and uh, generally choose this. Uh, this one is the uh, the most powerful, and uh, the, it's it's kind of funny because uh, I got it uh, backwards, and uh, I've actually seen. Uh, Sometimes, uh, if you look on like Reddit or somewhere, you see um, people assume that uh, this is like the most powerful, uh, and that's because this one is uh, fn once means you can only use it once because uh, it uh, uses the uh, uses what is passed in and drops it, so it destroys it. And then uh, fn mute is uh, it can uh, modify it. You know, it uses mutable reference, uh, nothing special there. Um, and fn is uh, can take by reference. So it can, um, you know, it can use a regular reference. And you look at that and you think, wow, you know, this one is, uh, you know, it's grabbing the, the value and it's like destroying it. And uh, you think maybe that's the most powerful. And this one is, uh, you know, reference is like walking by and just like, you know, taking a quick look and, you know, be quietly walking away and it, and it feels like um, like that's uh, that's the way it works but actually fn fn once every every uh, closure will implement fn once because all of them can do this uh, the next step up is uh, fn mute if it implements fn mute then it can do this it can modify and it can uh, and it can drop it and uh, if it also implements uh, fn then uh, it can uh, take by reference and if you if you if you choose this then it'll be able to do this it can also modify and it can also do fn once so i was thinking about that and a better a better analogy is like the human hand so this uh, this is kind of like a, a cat paw so a cat paw you know they can't they can't like pick things up with a single paw um, it's, you know, maybe like a leopard's paw is really powerful, but they, it's not very good at manipulation. FN mute is like a squirrel's paw. You know, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit better at things. It's got the, got a thumb. It can pick up, uh, peanuts and things like that. And then FN is like the human hand or maybe, maybe an octopus. It can, you know, do all sorts, all sorts of crazy stuff from, um, you know, really gentle things to, you know, um, boxing and, uh, everything in between so uh you can kind of think of it like that and that is why um fn is the uh the most the most powerful one and uh generally the one you should choose so when you are uh declaring your uh your uh closure inside of a function then you'll then you'll do that and uh, i just wanted to show you in the uh in option over here there's a uh, this is where you see a lot of examples of uh of fn once so that is where it's you know just grabbing it uh, uh dropping it and uh, the reason for that is because you know it doesn't need it anymore it's just uh kind of like uh you know matching self and then doing something there but it doesn't need to modify it or anything it's just uh it's just matching on it so that is why uh you see this uh and this is what the uh the, the signature tends to look like you have uh f you know fn once f uh Let's see if there's any fn mute inside there or any fn now. So it's like a all fn once inside of a, inside of option. And uh, 
So you can see that like inside of here you have uh, it's generic and then you have uh, self and then usually you see this uh, FF and that means that's the uh, that's the closure. It's um, it's generic so it's saying uh, you know it can be any any name you can say um, you know whatever you want my, my closure and then type is uh, you know my closure with a capital M that's totally fine but usually you'll see FF and that is a, uh, a clue that it's that there's a closure in there and uh, this is the uh, you know this this is what tells you that it is uh, actually a closure one of these three FN once FN mute or uh, FN and so um, that is uh, you know some theory uh, hopefully uh, that will be helpful uh, I just wanted to I think this video will get a little bit long but that's fine I uh, just wanted to show you um, my string an, an example of uh, how you can see that uh, the uh, rust will you know if you're outside of uh, out of uh, functions it'll automatically choose fn fn mute or um, or fn once for you so uh, let's uh, let's make this string let's test these closures so we're going to make uh, actually I'm going to copy it in for lack of time so we have uh, we have this thing called uh, refset and this uh, this is a closure that'll just uh, print my string and to do that it'll uh, it'll do it by by reference because it doesn't want to uh, destroy the string for us uh, below that we're going to have mute set and this is uh, it's going to take it and uh, it's going to push an exclamation mark on it and it's going to uh, going to print it so um, you know it doesn't just need a reference it needs a mutable reference so there's that and then we also have let drops it and there it is so this this will just uh, take it and drop it and that'll be the end of my string and you can see how uh, how it's working by if you um, if we call the uh, the closures here so let's say uh, let's call refs it uh, and mute it. Actually, I'll put it down here, and then watch what the compiler does. So there you go. You can see uh, it's it's doing the uh, choosing the 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 closure type for us. So it says cannot borrow my string as mutable because it's also borrowed as immutable. So you go to here. Okay, refs it, and it says on line five. So first borrow occurs due to use of my string in closure. So it's it's telling us right out that uh, <clears throat> that is borrowing it, and uh, then it, you know inside this mutes it. It says hey, uh, there's a mutable borrow here, so we know it's using. Uh, fn fn mute and then uh, later on immutable borrow and if we did the same thing uh, what was it drops it um, like that then uh, let's put it down let's see let drops it let's put this over here and then call refs it and mutes it so we'll drop it first and then you'll see it's going to say you know mute moved value uh, Let's see, where is it? There you go. So on line 15, it's saying, hey, there's a move, and move means it is uh, FN once, and uh, borrow later used here, blah, blah, blah. So that is, uh, that's one way to, uh, to you know, get Rust to tell you what kind of uh, closure it is. You can, you can kind of fool around and uh, make it give you errors. And so uh, what we will do is, uh, let's see, refs it. Put over here and mute it. We'll do that, and we're going to make the compiler happy. <clears throat> and now it should uh, print this, and now it's happy. So it's uh, we take a reference. It uh, it does that. It uh, you know, we could also put mute it up here, and uh, it should be fine as well. So let's do that. Actually, let's mute it first. Mutate it. And there you go. So it changes it, puts an exclamation mark, then it uh, drops the mutable reference. Uh, it doesn't need it anymore. And then it picks up a regular reference, and then it doesn't need it anymore. And then it drops the type. So that is a bit of a closure behavior. And um, yeah, but the, the most important thing is that FN, FN can do anything. And uh, uh, most of the time, to be safe, you can start out with, uh, with FN. And um, 
and then your closures will maybe generate fewer errors. Um, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll start doing that in the next video.